you're tired of dealing with the constant updates, data collection, and increasing hardware demands of Windows, perhaps it's time to think about switching to Linux. But how do you begin? Today, we will explore the best approaches for transitioning from Windows to Linux, guaranteeing a seamless shift for your computing requirements. If you're new to Linux, there are a few important decisions and preparations you should make beforehand. First, Linux is an open source operating system that comes in various distributions or flavors. Each distribution has its own set of features, desktop environment, and user interface. If you're new to Linux, it's important to choose a distribution that is user-friendly and easy to navigate. Ubuntu and Linux Mint are highly recommended for beginners due to their user-friendly interfaces and straightforward installation process. Both distributions come with pre-installed software that is commonly used by most users. Additionally, they offer a large community of users who are always ready to provide support and help solve any issues that you may encounter. As a beginner, it's best to opt for a distribution that offers a familiar desktop environment, easy to use software, and a large community of users. This will help you get started on the right foot and make your transition to Linux as smooth as possible. Secondly, when it comes to switching to Linux from Windows, you have two options to choose from, dual boot or full switch. Dual booting allows you to have both operating systems installed on your computer, and you can choose which one to use each time you start your machine. This option provides a safety net as you transition to Linux, as you can always switch back to Windows if you encounter any issues or need to use specific software that is not available on Linux. On the other hand, a full switch involves wiping out your current Windows operating system and replacing it with Linux. This option can be more challenging as you will lose access to all your Windows files and programs. However, it can also be more beneficial as it allows you to fully immerse yourself in Linux and take advantage of all its features and benefits. Ultimately, the decision between dual booting and a full switch will depend on your personal preferences and needs. Dual booting can be a good choice if you want to try out Linux without committing fully, while a full switch may be more appropriate if you're ready to fully embrace Linux and all that it has to offer. Lastly, backing up your data is an essential step that you should never skip before making any significant changes to your system. It's highly recommended that you create a backup of all your important files and documents to avoid losing any crucial data during the migration process. This step ensures that you have a copy of all your critical information in case something goes wrong during the transition. You can back up your data to an external hard drive, cloud storage, or any other secure location of your choice. Remember to double check that your backup is complete and up to date before proceeding with any significant changes to your system. To install Linux, follow these steps. First, to create a bootable USB drive, you need to follow a few simple steps. First, you need to download the ISO file of your preferred Linux distribution from the official website. Once the download is complete, you can use a tool such as Rufus to create a bootable USB drive. Rufus is a free and open source utility that can create bootable USB drives from ISO files. It is compatible with Windows and other operating systems. To use Rufus, you need to plug in your USB drive and select it from the drop-down menu. Then, browse to the location of the ISO file you downloaded and select it. Next, choose the partition scheme 
and file system type that you want to use. You can leave the other settings at their default values. Finally, click on the Start button to begin the process. Once the process is complete, you will have a bootable USB drive that you can use to run Linux directly on your computer. This will give you the freedom to use Linux without affecting your Windows installation. You can simply plug in the USB drive, boot from it, and enjoy Linux on your machine. Secondly, if you are considering installing Linux on your computer, you might want to try it out first to see if it's the right fit for you. A great way to do this is by booting from a USB drive, which allows you to try Linux in a live session without making any permanent changes to your computer. During this session, you can explore the Linux operating system, test out its features and functionality, and get a feel for how it works. This can help you determine if Linux is the right choice for your needs before you commit to installing it on your computer. Lastly, if you are happy with your Linux experience, you can proceed with the installation process. During the installation, you will be prompted to configure several important settings, such as disk partitioning and user accounts. You will have the option to either install Linux alongside Windows, allowing you to choose which operating system to use when you start your computer, or replace Windows entirely and use Linux as your sole operating system. Both options have their pros and cons, so it's important to weigh them carefully before making a decision. Regardless of which option you choose, the installation process should be relatively straightforward and should not take too much time to complete. Once you have installed Linux, there are a few more steps you need to take to optimize your new setup. Below are the steps you should follow. First, as a beginner to Linux, it is important to familiarize yourself with the desktop environment. Whether you choose to use a popular distribution like Linux Mint or any other, it is worth taking some time to explore the features and functionalities of the desktop. If you are coming from a Windows operating system, Linux Mint's layout may be a good option for you, as it provides a similar user interface, which can make the transition smoother. By exploring the Linux desktop environment, you can gain a better understanding of how to navigate the system, customize your settings, and access various applications and tools. Secondly, when setting up a Linux system, it is essential to install the necessary applications and drivers to ensure smooth functioning. Your Linux distributions package manager is the best tool to help you install software and drivers effortlessly. Many Linux distributions come pre-installed with a wide range of open source software, but you may need to find alternatives for some Windows specific applications. Therefore, it is essential to identify the applications you need and search for Linux compatible alternatives. The package manager can help you search for and install the required software packages and drivers. Once installed, you can enjoy the benefits of a fully functional Linux system. Thirdly, it is highly recommended to spend some time learning the basic command line commands in Linux, as it is a powerful and efficient tool for performing various tasks. Familiarizing yourself with the command line can save you time and effort as you navigate and interact with the operating system. The command line allows you to execute commands and scripts, manage files and directories, install and configure software, and perform a wide range of other tasks with ease. By mastering the basic command line commands, you can increase your productivity and efficiency while working in Linux. Lastly, when working with various hardware components, it's not uncommon to face issues related to compatibility. In such cases, it's important to be proactive and prepared to troubleshoot any problems that may arise. One common issue that you may encounter is driver compatibility. 
which can cause certain hardware components to malfunction or not work at all. In order to overcome this challenge, it's recommended to search online for solutions and resources that can help you identify and fix the problem. This may involve downloading and installing updated drivers, configuring settings, or even replacing hardware components altogether. By being patient and persistent in your troubleshooting efforts, you can ensure that your system is fully functional and optimized for your specific needs. Congratulations on transitioning to Linux. I'd like to remind you that the Linux community is an incredibly helpful and supportive group. There are various resources available online, such as forums, guides, and other online communities that can help you learn more about your new operating system. Enjoy the freedom and control that Linux offers, and welcome to the community. If you found this guide helpful, please like and subscribe for more tech tutorials. Drop a comment below with any questions or tips for new Linux users.